Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Um, again, as you guys can see by the uh, by my wallpaper, uh, this one here is Liquid Dark. Uh, so welcome back, Liquid, uh, at least to the Nexus 6. Uh, this is one of those ROMs I've really missed. Uh, if I remember correctly, right before it went Marshmallow, or right there at Marshmallow, um, it was uh, layers uh, supported, and that was one of the reasons I quit running it. Uh, but this here is actually uh, OMS build, so it does support Substratum. Uh, so if you guys are a Substratum fan, uh, it does support it. Uh, it's working great. I've actually went down through and uh, worked out a couple themes already. Um, and I am running a header pack of uh, Deity right now. Uh, I'm going to show you guys quickly. I'm going to throw on uh, Tronic Dark uh, OMS. Um, I've already got it compiled. All I've got to do is enable it. And this is the latest build of Substratum, so it's working great. It does a system UI restart uh, all on its own. You don't have to do any of that. I'm just going to enable it. Uh, click OK. I will hit the pause until it's done. And there you go. It's all done. It did a system UI restart and everything all on its own. There's nothing else to do. Um, so back to uh, Liquid Dark. Um, it's been running great, uh, no issues whatsoever, so we're just going to go ahead and get right into this. Uh, we'll go down to About Phone, let you guys see this is Liquid Dark, it is for the Nexus 6. Uh, this is a, an official build. Uh, I'm running their kernel, I'm not running a, um, uh, you know, an aftermarket kernel or a custom kernel like, uh, say, Blackbird, which is my go-to kernel. Uh, I am j I'm just running the kernel that comes with it. Uh, from what I gather, it is slim-based. Uh, so, uh, again, it's working great. Uh, and also, it comes with a kernel auditor installed. Uh, but one of the things that I normally do is uh, use like a root app uh, or a, an app uninstaller and uninstall uh, the version that comes with it because it's just kernel mod that you can get from the Play Store. Uh, and I always run um, kernel mod or kernel auditor mod, which is right here. Uh, again, the reasons I do uh, is because uh, I just get more features, um, you know, like, for instance, uh, under screen, um, they have presets that I can pick and choose from, uh, and that's just one of the reasons I love using the kernel auditor mod uh, as opposed to just a kernel auditor. So let's go ahead and get back into this again. Uh, about phone, I'll let you guys see it. Um, Again, Liquid Dark, uh, this is for the Nexus 6. Uh, I'm not sure if there is a build out for the OnePlus One. I will look for it uh, and see. And if there is, I'm almost positive it's going to be identical to this, uh, with the exception of, of course, a couple things that you only find on the OnePlus One. But, uh, but there it is. Um, and it's running great, guys. So uh, let's go ahead and run right up into the custom settings. Uh, the custom settings are right here under Liquid. Uh, so if we go there, first up is going to be animations. Uh, there's what they have for animations, uh, you know, system animations, toast, uh, list view, uh, animation and performance, or, yeah, animation and performance, which basically is scrolling cache. Um, you guys know that my favorite, of course, is uh, scrolling modifier, uh, but this does not come with that. Uh, next up would be buttons. Nav bars, uh, dimensions, all that. Uh, I will let you guys see what they have for dimensions. Uh, height, 48 dp. Uh, your width is going to be, and this is, of course, your landscape, uh, 48 dp there. Uh, and then your nav bar width, uh, 42 dp. Uh, you have your show arrow keys, a button layout. If you guys want to change your uh, nav uh, bar buttons, it's very simple to do. Basically hit edit, uh, grab the buttons, physically drag them where you want, and click save. Uh, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put them back. I'm actually not going to hit save. I'm just going to hit the back button. and They'll go right back to where I had them. Uh, you have double tap to sleep, kill app, back, bu or kill app back button. You guys are going to have to excuse me. I just got home from work, uh, and I had another terrible night. We had uh, two major power outages at work, and I mean, it was just one of those nights. Um, you guys, uh, they do give you the option to color your nav bars if you want. You just basically click on that, 
pick the color that you want, uh, you're good to go. But uh, since I'm running a theme, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and color them. Uh, and it didn't color it. And I think that's because I'm running a theme. Anyways, uh, your power menus here. Uh, root menu, uh, you know, well, basically quite a few things to choose from. Uh, I, you know, and again, guys, this is AOSP based. Um, so for an AOSP, uh, AOSP based ROM, uh, they're giving us quite a few options. Uh, volume button controls, you guys can pretty much set it up however you want your volume buttons. Um, then, of course, you can uh, set your uh, home button up if you want. Uh, and then set up some uh, menu uh, button keys. Uh, basically, you just put it, put it where you want it, have it work however you want it. Uh, next up is going to be interface. Uh, you have expanded desktop and your LCD density. Uh, I like 560. I like to keep it right there. I think that's almost perfect for this phone. Uh, you guys can mess with it however you want, but uh, I like it right where it's at. Uh, let's see, lock screen, these are going to be lock screen settings, not much yet, I'm pretty sure uh, that with a little bit of time there are going to be, there are going to be more uh, options on this ROM, uh, that's just the way uh, this ROM or Liquid usually is, uh, they usually do have quite a few nice custom settings on it, uh, nav bar or your uh, notification drawer is next, uh, you have your force expanded notification, your quick, your quick pull down, uh, you can have it off, right, or left. Uh, quick settings. Uh, advanced location settings. Um, here is one of the only things I don't like about this ROM. Uh, I would really have, would have loved for the quick settings to be more AOSP instead of signage and mod, which is, a, you know, the swipe to the right. I mean, I really hate that. Uh, but, you know, I mean, again, guys, remember, if every ROM was identical... Uh, you know, it, you'd only have one ROM. So, you know, this borrows certain parts from Signage and Mod, you know, and and other things from AOSP and some from Slim and some from this. It's just the way they, you know, it's just the way custom ROMs go. So, um, I may not like this, but, you know, apparently quite a few other people do. So, uh, that's why it's there. Uh, and if you guys want to add anything to this, you just hold that settings button up there until it starts to spin like this. Once it spins, well, I just removed it, so anyways, uh, if you pull the drop down, down, touch and hold it until it spins, it's going to enable the, uh, the system UI settings, you go there, yes, quick settings, basically you just click add, that's what I haven't added yet, and this is what I did. So pretty cool. Uh, status bar is going to be what you where you can pick and choose what you want to show on your status bar. Uh, right there is going to be where you get that at. And then of course demo mode, which believe me, you you're not going to do anything with that. Uh, let's go back up into the uh, liquid settings again. Uh, notification drawer. Uh, let's see, we already did that. Uh, status bar. This is going to be clock and date. Um, you know, you can set your time, color. Uh, I like the fact that they let us color it. Uh, you can go with your center clock, uh, AM, PM, date, you know, date format, all that. It's all here. Battery settings. I have my battery actually hidden right now um, because I'm running a battery bar, and this does not come with a battery bar. I'm using an app from the Play Store for mine. Uh, network traffic. I, uh, again, I like the fact that they uh, give you the option to color that. Carrier label, if you guys want to run a carrier label, which I'm running. Uh, I just I just threw liquid up there. I think that's pretty cool. And again, uh, they do let you color it, which is pretty awesome. Uh, then you have your brightness control, double tap to sleep, uh, and your uh, headset icon. Uh, if you want all those to show. Uh, in your status bar, you just turn them on or none or one or, you know, whatever. Uh, this is how you would set it up right there. Uh, last up is going to be your sound settings. Uh, you have your safe headset volume settings. Uh, and then, of course, your less frequent notification sounds. Uh, if you guys want to go in there uh, and set that up uh, for less frequent notifications, you can go in there and do that. 
And that is pretty much it for the liquid settings. Um, again, the lock screen, the only thing they give you are shortcuts uh, and bottom for now. And I do think that they're going to add more features uh, as this ROM goes. Uh, I did go through notification drawer. Yes. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I hit everything for you guys. Uh, let's see. It does come with Substratum already installed. You do not have to install it. Now, I did find that uh, there was an update to Substratum. So as soon as you hit the Play Store, uh, it's going to want to update. And I highly recommend that you update it because the uh, updated version is probably the best version I've tried yet. Uh, again, guys, you know me. I'm not much uh, of a Layers fan. Even though Substratum's out, uh, I think it is awesome. Uh, it's still just not CMTE. Uh, and one of these days I'm going to do a video and show the difference between uh, Substratum uh, you know, themes and CMTE themes and show you what I like and why I like uh, which ones I do. So, um, you know, someday I'll just make that a video. Uh, and it, like, again, it does come with kernel auditor. Uh, I like to install my own kernel auditor, uh, but I think it's pretty cool that they do have that. Uh, it does come with uh, Viper for Android, which is awesome. Uh, if you guys look, I'll show you the app drawer. Uh, it's all the way at the bottom, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I thought it was. Yeah, Viper for Android, right there. Now, I didn't set it up. I didn't hit my... Um, uh, I didn't uh, install any of my drivers yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and back out of that. But I wanted you guys to see that it does come with Viper for Android. Uh, let's see, display real quick, uh, adaptive brightness, it does come with the theme. Now I'm running it on light because if I go dark, I'm pretty sure it's going to screw with the theme, but I'll show you. Nope, actually it's not. Uh, but you can, pick and, you can pick and choose whether you want light, dark, or uh, I think they even have the automatic setting if you guys want that. Uh, wallpaper, I don't remember seeing any custom wallpapers, but I might be wrong. Let me, let me see what's under wallpapers quickly. Yeah, and the only one that they're giving us... No, oh, right there, liquid dark wallpapers. Oh, awesome. And again, guys, I mean, you know how I feel about uh, a ROM that has custom wallpapers. I mean, it's, it's awesome that they do that. Yeah, that is cool. So, again, you guys can pick and choose whatever kind of wallpapers you want, uh, you know, there they are. Uh, again, I think that's, you know, that's cool. Um, you know you know how I feel about wallpapers. Uh, I think that that defines a true custom ROM uh, when they, you know, when they provide uh, good custom wallpapers. Uh, I just love it. Um, you have your rotation, your sleep, uh, all of that. There's uh, pretty much what we're all used to. Uh, nothing really different down there. Uh, let's go ahead and hit sounds. And notifications, where were we at here? There we go. Sound and notifications, um, pretty much standard affair. Nothing, I'm not seeing anything that's any different uh, than what we're used to. Oh, this was one thing also that I noticed. Uh, under notification lights, you can't change the colors of the notification lights. Now, hopefully, uh, as this ROM progresses, uh, they'll give us <clears throat> they'll give us that option. I'm I'm kind of hoping that they do. Uh, there's your cast, um, let me think here, uh, notification access, that's your advanced, uh, do not disturb, uh, here's your other sounds, these are your options for that. You also have the uh, prevent audio ducting uh, all the way down there at the bottom, which uh, I actually like. Uh, one thing I do want to do is I want to take my ring volume and drop that all the way down uh, just in case I get a notification. And also, I'm going to pause this again. Alright, I just wanted to set my notifications to none. Uh, that way, you know, I, I don't want to blow you guys' eardrums out. Um, even though that, you know, I'm almost done now. Under security... Uh, these are the settings that we have for that. Again, I didn't see anything that uh, really stood out uh, when I was going through this. 
uh, pretty basic uh, screen pinning at the bottom <clears throat> again make sure you have unknown sources uh, ticked on uh, and that's about it we're gonna hit developer options real quick let you guys see those I know I'm I like to see the developer options uh, and here's another thing I noticed that the theme is both uh, in the um, uh, display settings and in the developer options uh, then you have your uh, debugging uh, and one thing I like about it also is they have the local terminal uh, included in with this uh, again guys if you know what a, what a terminal is a local terminal um, and you know how to use it you know exactly why I, I like the fact that it, it is included um, and I know for a fact under drawing you're going to find your multi window mode which is right there and I think that's about it for uh, the features that, that I normally use. And that's it, guys. Again, uh, this is uh, Liquid Dark for the Nexus 6. Um, as you can see, all the security updates are there. Um, and, I mean, it's just running great. Uh, I, I, I'm just happy as hell to see uh, Liquid back. Um, I really wish they would have went with CMTE. Um, but, you know, hey, uh, they were they were using uh, Layers Manager, uh, the last I remember. Uh, they were one of the few ROMs to go ahead and switch over to Layers Manager. Uh, so I kind of figured, you know, it was going to be an OMS uh, build. Uh, so, and I do remember seeing on the Play or on the Google uh, community or, no, it was in the thread. Somebody asked about it and they are going to stick with OMS, which I can't see why they would change. Uh, the uh, the developer likes it, uh, and there are a lot of other people that likes OMS, so it is what it is, you know. And if you guys are one of those people that love uh, Substratum, I'm going to tell you right now, this is a nice ROM to run. Uh, I can't think of anything else to go over. Uh, the camera does work. I'm not going to demonstrate it, but I did try the camera out. Uh, camera's working great. Uh, I've had no problems with that. I've had no problems with anything on the ROM whatsoever. So... Uh, Guys, uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, and uh, I do want to thank all of my subscribers. I really do appreciate it, guys. Um, and again, if you guys have something or, you know, a ROM you want to see, uh, let me know. I'll try to get it out uh, if I can. Um, and, uh, you know, and again, I appreciate you guys. So I will see you on the next one.